trying out cinematic mode. I don't know if it'll blur me or maybe I'm gonna regret doing this. Please ignore the baby stuff. So I've done one of these, okay, welcome back to Benny's channel. I have done one of these videos multiple times. I've reviewed a lot of vacuums and a lot of different pet grooming uh, items. And one was like a vacuum with a pet grooming. So I've worked with this company before. Nope. Uh, they send me a similar thing to this. It was like a grooming kit. Brushes, but it's also like a vacuum. So when you brush, it just vacuums up everything. Um, but I remember when we tested it out, the razor didn't work. And I don't know if that was user error or if I screwed something up or I broke it or if it was faulty, I don't know. But they reached out again. They have a new and improved grooming vacuum kit thing. Um, but they wanted us to test out. I'm so sorry, my dishwasher and my washing machine is going right now for dryer. Sorry if it's super loud. This is gonna be loud anyways. Benny's run away already because he, I've already tested it out and he, obviously he knows what these things are. He does not like the razor, but we will be using it because he's get a bit crazy looking. Benny, come here. So I will say I've already tested this out um, earlier because I needed to get something off of his butt. I move the carpet I don't want fur to get all over it. Benny, come here. Benny. Benny! He's not gonna go. Benny! He was trying to come, but he went to Milo's room and the door closed on him. I'm so sorry. Did you get stuck in here? Oh. All right, let me show you what we're gonna work on with him. Okay, so these vacuums get him a little crazy, but I want to use the razor on his feet, of course, because these are getting crazy, if he'll let me. Um, he had a hot spot. Benny, come here. Sit. Sit. He had a hot spot really bad on his like chest and neck. Benny, sit. Chest and neck area. Um, I kind of already got most of that off. And then he had a huge knot on his tail, but I do want to trim up his butt even more. Um, I'm gonna try to trim up his butt with that last because he's very weird about his butt. And then, <laughs> um, yeah, we'll brush him and we're gonna get all these knots out because he just feels disgusting. He, I think, has poop stuck to his big old hairy butt. So we're just gonna clean them all up. All right, so the one I really like using, I think gave me a lot of things that I didn't give him the last one, I don't think. I'm assuming this is just to help clean up afterwards because it's not a brush or anything. And then they got this one, which is They've got this one, which you press this button and it like goes in and sucks up the fur. And then one that kind of looks like a Furminator brush, which I'm gonna use this on him because, look at this, watch. I can do just a couple brushings and already like, summer coat, winter coat, I don't know. But we're gonna do that. And then it will suck it all up into the curtain thing here into the vacuum. Which one would you like to use first? Ow, ow, you need to trim up your nails. We'll use this one first. I'm gonna try to keep this in the view. Can you see it? Benny, come here. I know you're scared. Come here. Do this. Probably this out so you can see it fill up. So I brushed for like less than five minutes and this is what I got, filled it up. Definitely um, a little harder with big hairy dogs. Um, I feel like that's how it always is with big hairy dogs. Like things are made for usually small and medium sized dogs. That's all right. I mean, you just have to empty it out a few times. I'm going to now, I'm going to now, that doesn't make sense. I'm now going to 
test out the razor. Um, I tried it out a little bit before. Um, he's not a big fan of it for some reason. Um, I think it's just the vacuum he's not a big fan of. He's fine with me brushing him for a little bit, but the razor makes a louder noise and I don't think. I will say it is very easy to empty. You just open up the bottom part and it all falls out. There is a like dust thingy inside that you gotta be careful that you don't throw that away. I tried this brush, I love it. Um, this is what I would normally use on him because I don't want to use the fermenter too much on his coat. Um, but sometimes you just really need to get some stuff out of him because otherwise there's fur everywhere. So this one I like to use too. It gets a lot off. Um, there isn't too much fur around the apartment so far from brushing him. Um, he is a big furry guy and I haven't brushed him in a while because I knew I was getting this. Um, so there was a lot of fur. Sometimes like if I don't click it enough, it will like suck it up. Okay, we're gonna try. I really wanna get this area. It's getting better. It's allowing me down here. Good boy, buddy. This is what his paws look like before. I did a little bit um, a few days ago, but. Alrighty. So I got his paws as best as he would let me. Let me see. Not the greatest, but we cleaned it all up. Cleaned up his stinky butt. And you just really, you honestly just need a bath. Let me see you sit, sit. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm comparing it to the other one they gave me the first time. This is definitely better. Um, all the things work. The razor works. Um, suctions up real nice. If I'm comparing it to the vacuum we got that also is a pet groomer, um, I really liked that vacuum. It just won't hold a charge. Like I literally charged it for like the entire day and it won't work. So um, there's that. This one's real nice. I'm definitely gonna be using it now, so especially since the other one doesn't even charge or work. I mean, yeah, thank you again to this company for allowing us to review their multiple products. Um, I am very pleased with this product. I will link below, uh, I'll put in the description their link, um, and I believe a code to get you a discount for it. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for joining, 